Hello everyone. This channel provides the latest information on the Three Gorges Dam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. Everyone loves the Three Gorges Dam. As of 8 a.m. on December 28, local time in China, the water level at the Three Gorges Dam is 167.58 meters. Compared to the 24th of this month, the water level has dropped by nearly 20 centimeters. By the way, around this time last year, the water level was around 158 meters, so there is still a difference of about 9 meters. This indicates how severe last year's drought was. Viewing the dam from the reservoir side, the water level of the dam would be around this area. As of 9 p.m. last night, the flow rate at the upstream observation station was 5,680 cubic meters per second, and the inflow to the Three Gorges Dam was 7,100 cubic meters per second. Therefore, the total from the dam area and tributaries is 1,420 cubic meters per second. The inflow to the Three Gorges Dam remains at a low level. At 8 a.m., the discharge rate of the Three Gorges Dam was 5,960 cubic meters per second. Given that the maximum discharge rate for hydroelectric power generation at this dam is about 31,000 cubic meters per second, this would suggest that the dam is operating at approximately 19% of its power generation capacity. This is a rough calculation, but it implies that about six turbines for power generation are in operation. Compared to four days ago, they have reduced the discharge rate. Nishi Yang Channel. According to the data published by the Hunan Province Water Gate Bureau in China, the changes in inflow and outflow at the Three Gorges Dam over the past month are as follows. The black line represents the discharge from the dam, and the green line indicates the inflow into the dam. As you can see, until a few days ago, they had been increasing the amount of discharge. However, recently, the discharge rate has suddenly decreased. The inflow to the dam has not changed much, and the decrease in water level has stopped. I don't know the exact reason, but I think they have failed by lowering the water level too much. I am checking the situation for the last 12 hours, up until 9 a.m. this morning. Ideally, I would say that there are no significant rain clouds around the dam and its upstream but for some reason, there is no rain cloud radar data specifically around the Three Gorges Dam. It's a remarkable coincidence. Have they finally stopped disclosing data? On the other hand, satellite imagery is unaffected by China, so it's completely visible. They cannot hide this situation. The Three Gorges Dam has several important roles, namely, flood control, power generation, and navigation. On the other hand, there are numerous challenges such as sedimentation, environmental destruction, rapid climate change, cracking, and the increasing problem of garbage. They claim to choose the best water level from the perspectives of hydroelectric power, navigation, and irrigation, asserting it is safe and secure. But is that really the truth? Especially, I have doubts about the recent water level situation. As far as this channel investigated, the area covered by the Three Gorges Dam seems to be around the red frame. Let's look at the forecast for the next week on Windy. Although there is a prediction of some rain clouds spreading on Friday, for the most part, there are not many rain clouds observed in the catchment area covered by the Three Gorges Dam. The weather at the Three Gorges Dam today is expected to be cloudy with occasional sunshine, with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 3 degrees. Given the time of year, there are few days with rain. I also run a YouTube channel that introduces Japan's dams. On this channel, we share the charm of sophisticated and beautiful dams and have already received over 1,600 subscribers. The URL is listed in the summary section, so if you are interested, please check it out. The Three Gorges Dam is located in the middle reaches of the Yangtze River, which spans 6,000 kilometers. It is located at the end of not only the main stream but also many tributaries that flow through the Sichuan Basin. The Three Gorges from which the Three Gorges name is derived. In short, before the steep mountains, the river merged into one, and the dam was built at the end of the gorge. Most of the rain that falls in the central and western regions of China ends up at this dam. 
Moreover, each tributary carries a considerable amount of water, so floods occur frequently. To avoid this, many dams have been built upstream, and some are still under construction. Looking at this diagram, you can imagine how dangerous the Three Gorges Dam is. By the way, do you know about the organization surrounding the Three Gorges Dam? The dam is operated by the Three Gorges Group of China. The State Council of China has jurisdiction over the country. The Yangtze River Water Conservation Commission, which is always mentioned in water level information, is one of the organizations of the Ministry of Water Conservation under the State Council. The Three Gorges Group's hydropower projects are carried out at huge dams, such as the Three Gorges Dam and Baihutang Dam. They rank first and second in the world in terms of total installed capacity, respectively. However, China is running out of land suitable for building huge dams. Therefore, they are currently trying to find a way out in the storage battery business. Natural energy such as solar and wind power is easily affected by the weather, so they are trying to store electricity in storage batteries and supply it according to demand. However, no one knows yet whether it will be profitable. Domestically, if the large-scale hydroelectric power generation business is getting tougher, it may be possible to expand into Africa and other countries. This is a video that summarizes information about the Three Gorges Dam, and is a popular video that has been viewed more than 150,000 times. The URL is posted in the summary column, so please enjoy it. Going forward, as we enter winter, the amount of rain will likely decrease. In 2020, there were concerns about the dam collapsing due to continuous heavy rain and floods. Conversely, last year experienced a drought, and this year also saw extremely low water levels. The Chinese meteorological authorities had already announced early this year the possibility of abnormal weather and high temperatures. Although there were many floods this summer, the rainfall in October and November was extremely low. We will continue to provide the latest information, so please subscribe to our channel.